I'm going to be comparing all three iPhones. We have the iPhone 10, we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and we have the iPhone 11. We're going to see who's the true champion here in this comparison. I'm going to be testing out the app loading times. I'm going to be exporting a 4K video. I'm even going to take it a step further by comparing the screens too, because the screen is a big factor too. All of these have different displays. And by the way, get yourself a case. I'm seeing some micro scratches on the screen and on the iPhone 11, I'm seeing some micro scratches on the back. All right, so we have face unlock. We actually gonna do a test on that, but it's gonna be hard for me to do so. So let me just do it like this. All right, so let's do the face ID test on the iPhone 10 versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So it's like about the same. It's nothing, nothing different here. Oops, almost dropped it. <laughs> okay. Damn, the iPhone 11 was instant. Man. Yeah, my iPhone 10 takes a while to unlock. Okay, see, that one did it at the same time. Let's see. Let's just do the lock. Okay, so it's like about the same. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let the games begin. All right, so each phone, all apps are cleared. Okay, so now we have a totally fresh start. All right, so we're gonna open up some Apple apps first, and then we're gonna open up some third-party applications. So let's open up the calendar app. Three, two, one, go. All right. Okay, that was like about the same. That was like about the same. Clock. Okay, three, two, one, go. Mm, the iPhone 11 looked like it was the first one to load up. Okay, we're going to launch up the weather in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. It's about the same, man. It's like about the same performance. Keep in mind, the iPhone 10 or the iPhone X, as the kids call it, has the A11 Bionic chip. This has the A13 Bionic chip and as well as the iPhone 11. Okay, 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. But it's very, very hard to tell. It's like milliseconds off. Let's launch up the App Store. All right. App Store launching in three, two, one, go. It's so fast. I'm at to pull back the footage and see which one. Right, let's open up the settings. I mean, this is fairly basic. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, look. Like about the same. All right. Let's launch up the camera. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so it looks like the focus point was focusing first on the iPhone 10, then the iPhone 11, and then the Max. But in terms of launching speed, it was pretty much like about the same. Apple TV in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, so from the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and then the iPhone 10. And you guys can see the screen difference. You have more text on the screen. All right, so let's open up Crossy Road. All right, so in three, two, one, go. And they are off. Okay, so these two finished. This is in the loading screen, and you could play. So, yeah, so definitely quicker on the iPhone 11 series. Let's open up Snapchat. Now, Snapchat is logged in to my personal iPhone 10 here, but it's not logged in on my iPhone 10s here. Or iPhone 11s, I'm sorry. Yeah, so this, this is literally not even a fair test, but it's fairly quick launching up these applications. It's all about the games and loading times. All right, so Asphalt 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. And they're off. Got them all perfect. Okay, so we may as well turn these around. So the iPhone 11, the 11 Pro Max, and then we have the iPhone 10. All right, so the iPhone 11s. Completed and actually the iPhone 10 it holds up really well just looking at it It's not lagging. It's not stuttering and of course the iPhone 11s are handling this like a champ And that's the thing that's the thing with Apple. I appreciate the optimization on all the devices We're gonna launch up YouTube in three two One at the same time trying to get it at the same time Okay, so Literally across the board. Okay, let's launch up Instagram. Three, two, one. Okay, so so the iPhone 11. Let me 
because I don't want to get demonetized. I really don't want to get demonetized. All right, so Kilani is here. And we're going to do a little screen test to show you guys the difference. But it was across the board. It was the iPhone 11, and then literally a millisecond later, we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and then the iPhone 10. But the iPhone 10 is not slow at all. And I just want to show you guys the screen. So here's the difference between OLED and LCD. So this is the regular iPhone 10, and then we have the iPhone 11. So you're getting more bezel on the iPhone 11. Bezel is like the black bordered around it, so it's a little bit more thicker. Here is a lot more thinner. All right, so the picture. You guys see this in real life to understand and appreciate the OLED, but there's a difference. I just put it on max brightness, and the camera is definitely not doing it any justice here. OLED on the left and LCD on the right. So it's just a little bit more sharper. You got the richer blacks. I mean, look at our hair, but the iPhone 11 is no slouch. You know, let's see what's going to be the next picture. So The Last of Us, I cannot wait for this game. Oh, my God. I saw the trailer. <laughs> game of the year. You can see like it's like a yellowish tint on the LCD. And look how white the old Ned looks. It's true colors. Okay, if you look at this video, kind of looks. OLED is just far more superior than LCD. But if you're just looking at the iPhone 11 and not looking at OLED, this display is fine. I can even show you guys the iPhone Pro Max versus the iPhone 11. So yeah, look at the difference, man. You guys, like her skin, look at her skin. It's true colors. It's not like a yellowish tint. So, you know, I definitely do see the difference. Look at this picture here. This picture here, I shot it. I was on the plane. This is one of my favorite posts. Okay, so Luma Fusion in three, two, one, go. Okay, they are off. Okay, exactly the same on the iPhone 11s and then right after on the iPhone 10. All right, so let's export a 4K video. Okay, there we go. Perfect time. So it looked like the Pro Max definitely loaded that one. It's processing a lot faster, I should say. So this is a 4K, 53 second, 30 frames per second, 4K file. And we're going to see which one is going to load up in LumaFusion faster. Okay. And there you guys have it. I'll just say post. Yeah, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I got the same exact video. So we're going to export this. I didn't do any edits whatsoever. This is high quality of video footage 4K, 30 frames per second directly. Um, it was shot it on the iPhone. All right, so we're going to export it. Three, two, one, go. Ah, kind of, kind of messed that one up. But I got it the same time on the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 11 Pro. Kind of messed that one up. At the same time, if anything. I want to do that again because I messed it up. So we're going to do that one last time. We're going to do it in three, two, one, go. Okay, yeah, so we got it at the same time this time. So we're going to see exactly which one is going to finish first. So yeah, I think they're all going to finish at the same time. If not, one of them might be a millisecond faster. Oh, I went downstairs to do something. And I saw that the iPhone finished. So that's just insane. Maybe the developers need to optimize the app. All right, so iMovie 3, 2, 1. And yeah, I mean, overall, I, the speed is very, very similar. 
Now I'm actually want to export that same video onto iMovie. We're gonna create movie, and we're gonna export it. All right, so we're gonna export in 4K. Dark mode is off currently on my iPhone 10, so I'm not sure what's going on. I can even show you guys. It's off. Then that's on. So I don't know what's going on. So we're going to export in 4K. 3, 2, 1. We're going to wake up the screen. 3, 3, 2, 1. Go. Okay. And we're going to see which one is going to export the video faster. Keep on shaking my camera. Okay. So... It was finished first on the iPhone 11s, pretty much exactly the same. And then literally a millisecond later, the iPhone 10 also finished. We're going to tap on OK. So that is just insane. So your iPhone 10 is just as fast as the iPhone 11 in terms of um, performance. I got the new Geekbench. I got Geekbench 5. So I'm going to be doing a Geekbench 5 test. And then I'm going to do a Geekbench 4 test. Geekbench 5, they actually improved the score. So it's slightly lower. Um, but it's not like in terms of the performance, it's more sophisticated, it's more powerful now. I have all the applications running in the background. Low power mode is disabled on all three devices. Let's just do the CPU test and let's go. And alrighty guys, so there you guys have it. So these are the scores. It looks painfully low. I mean, it looks so much lower, but Geekbench 5 is a little bit more optimized. So instead of it being 10,000, you know, score, it's a little bit more efficient because the numbers can go up so high that, you know, it's for, mo for a mobile device. Like, this is unheard of. The higher the Geekbench score, the better the performance. Just for the fun of it, I actually want to install Geekbench 4. I have it here, and I want to see the performance, really. Okay, so this is Geekbench 4. We're going to actually see it right here. All right, and here are the Geekbench 4 scores here, and these scores are just insane compared to the iPhone 10. So that's the reason why Geekbench lowered down the scores, just because these are so close to PC performance. Like, these scores are higher than computers, and I think that's why Geekbench lowered down the scores, so it's a little bit more intelligent. Okay, yeah, we get it now. We get it. It's powerful, but... This is our score now. This is our new scoring system. Now, I do want to run an Entudu benchmark. So, this is just testing out the GPU performance. So, it's going to test out everything. And listen, the higher the number, the better the performance. I'm doing everything I can to show you guys how much of an upgrade the iPhone 10 is. I mean, the iPhone 10 is performing really well. All right. So, we got to run the testing. So yeah, it's going to have like a nice little animation to see how smooth it is. And see on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and even the iPhone 11, the regular one, it tests out the scrolling speed, the UI speed. This is a really good app for testing out, um, you know, the speed and the performance of the device. And see how buttery smooth it's going to scroll. Alright, so the iPhone 11 Pro Max finished first and then literally right after the iPhone 11. And we're going to tap on not now. And as you guys can see, it's a higher score on the iPhone Max Pro. And, of course, it's slower on the iPhone 10. So, yeah, there you guys have it. The overall score is on the top.
overall the new iPhones are faster but not by much if you have an iPhone 10 this is an incremental upgrade unless you want that camera and you want better battery life so I hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys did I appreciate it with a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on and other natural boy pops and I hope you guys have a simple day